Tuesday, everybody. Um, today we are continuing our topic of just walking when just walking is all your female clients can do. How to enhance that session so that you're getting max bang for buck. And today we're going to discuss mindset and incorporating breath work and mindfulness into your walking sessions with your female clients. Because hormones, when women are go, 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 on call 24 seven, constantly interrupted, they are the repository for the entire household schedule, for everyone's health issues, for everyone's food preferences. They are, in a constant state of low level stress, okay? The consequence of being in this state 24 seven is hormonal imbalance. And that can uh, show up in a variety of ways. Um, but the, the upshot is when it's been that long and it gets that bad, the ultimate consequence is the body won't support a pregnancy. Now, you know, <laughs> Barely any of your female clients probably want to get pregnant and they're kind of beside the point because the menstrual cycle and being able to support a pregnancy is a vital sign of female hormone health, right? So if the body cannot support a pregnancy, then the body is not in a state of optimal health and the body's hormones are out of whack, okay? So... What hormone dysfunction looks like in chronic low level stress that's impacting hormone dysfunction could be obvious, could be painful, excessively heavy or excessively light periods. It could be um, missing periods or irregular periods. It could be like PMS, PMDD, PMT. Um, it could be thyroid problems. It could be an autoimmune flare up. It could be um, insomnia, sleep disturbances, depression, anxiety, especially if it's cyclical, um, fertility and arousal problems, okay? Um, we need to get comfortable with female sexual health amongst all their other versions of health um, if we're gonna truly understand their hormone balance. So when you're just walking with your female clients, you have an opportunity to rebalance her hormones. Walking alone is one of the best ways. Um, and it's worthwhile understanding, it's not actually the rise, like the acute phase of the stress hormone rise that's the, that's the problem. It's the not allowing adequate space, time, or opportunity for those hormones to come down again. They're always here and they might come down a bit before they hit again and then they hit again, you know, like that is the modern woman's lifestyle. Um, so you can probably, well, you can incorporate uh, breathwork and mindfulness into any form of training program, but we're talking about enhancing your walking practice specifically. Um, any woman who in particular who's um, pregnant, postpartum or perimenopausal, and when I say perimenopausal, I'm talking 13 years in the lead up to menopause, which happens at an average age of 52, we should be incorporating mindfulness uh, and breath work into all those women's routines, okay? Mindfulness and breath work, can be super powerful at bringing those stress hormones down in a very short amount of time. And they can like have a major impact on rebalancing her cycle and um, reducing flare ups of her autoimmune disease. Um, mindfulness and breath work in female populations, I looked up specific studies and I actually found them this time. It can reduce the symptoms of um, premenstrual disorders, autoimmune disease and mental health problems. Uh, it can significantly lower cortisol, which is your stress hormone. And it's interesting, um, the same origin hormone is responsible for both cortisol um, production and progesterone production. So stress and elevated cortisol has a major impact on progesterone in particular. And that fact alone can contribute to estrogen 
lead disease and disorders, okay? And none of these things act alone and playing with any part of this interaction will enhance or not their quality of life and their hormone balance. Uh, mindfulness and breath work can improve sleep and reduce insomnia. Uh, it can lower the need for medications. And that's like across the board. It's not just like antidepressants. It can lower the need for your diabetes medication. Um, it can offset conditions like hypertension, depression, and dementia, which I thought was pretty interesting. And it can reduce the frequency and severity of acute stress episodes, such as panic attacks, hemorrhage, and heart attack. So very powerful tools in our belts um, and very easy to incorporate in a walking session. Very easy to add value to your training of these women just through walking. So breathwork and mindfulness only needs to be performed for five minutes to get a significant hormonal response. If you had to choose one, we choose the breath work, but you can do both at the same time by being mindful about the breath. The best kind of breath work is a cyclic pattern, which just means repeat the same pattern, um, with a long sighing exhale. So for example, you breathe in for four, and you breathe out for eight or six, or just longer than four, with a sigh. So. Right, and then as long as the client is breathing through their ribs in an intercostal or diaphragmatic breath, it will be amazing for her hormone balance. Preferably, she'd be doing it for five minutes every day, but it's enough. If you're seeing her two or three times a week, that is enough to have an impact. So in the comments, I've put a little video um, showing what we look for in our pregnancy postnatal um, breath assessment um, and that will help you get on your way to correctly assessing a diaphragmatic breath and correctly coaching an intercostal breath which is the same thing uh, and if any questions come up from this please feel free to message me um, I'm on school holidays for the next two weeks so I'm going to pre-record but I'll still check my messages and I'll still answer your questions and I may even record an answer to your question if, if enough of you ask me so I'll see you next week